Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Virgo. Now, you can have Virgo anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, north. I'm here at Mercury, baby. Some of you guys are learning your charts. And that's good because you're learning how to embody mm -hmm, your energies. So let's get into this reading. Oh, Virgo, this message may resonate with you. Or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby. And send that rest to the universe. Let it be for somebody else. So let's get into your reading. I'm hearing you're breaking free, baby. You're breaking free. Some of you guys are breaking free from this marriage. I'm hearing divorce, separation. Some of you guys will be coming back in separation, but I'm Virgo. I'm hearing somebody is feeling or is dealing with anxiety of this separation because they see you going, gone. Finito, adios, whatever you want to say it, baby, but you're moving. And they feel this energy because they see you in this nine of pentacles. And they see you going straight to another relationship. And it's got somebody's ex in anxiety, baby. They worry. Realizing they lost you for good is what I'm hearing. That's what I'm channeling. I'm hearing my spirit team saying, elevate your thoughts, baby. Keep your vibration high, baby. Look at you. Mm -hmm. You're an earth sign, baby. Virgo. They want you to keep your vibration high, baby. Because some somebody's trying to send you this energy of conflict. And if you're dealing with conflict, they want you to keep your, your thoughts just rising, baby. Rise above this conflict. If you're dealing with conflict in your mind about leaving let's see they want you to elevate they want you not to worry <sighs> Virgo I see that little V right here for Virgo somebody is in conflict because you are breaking free you put your boundaries You put your boundaries, baby. It's like this person is worried. But see, you found your freedom. I'm hearing you finally broke free. You went within. Virgo, you might be dealing with the 1-7, which is your Pisces. Or you might have Pisces in your chart. Either that, Virgo, you just been bottling, finding out these secrets. And these secrets that you've been trying to find clarity. Because look at that book. You got this book. And you want to know what the hell has been going on. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm channeling. But you're finding the clarity that you've been seeking. And that clarity is about to set you free. And for a lot of you guys, whoo, you are breaking free from a narcissistic person. They not might have, I'm hearing from my spirit team, they might have not been fully narcissistic. But they had narcissistic tendencies or this energy that you shined a light on. You never would have thought you was dealing with a narcissistic person or just somebody that just had so much jealousy. It's like, baby, you shined a light on this situation and it might've took you a while. And you might've not been able to break free. But see, the divine has justice, baby, for you. And as God, your angel was guiding you through this situation, you stood 10 toes down, baby, is what I'm hearing. Mm -mm. You trusted in the divine, and no matter how rocky, how the situation looked, you kept it going, baby, further. And this past person, that I'm hearing a control freak, baby. Put it in the comments if you were dealing with a control freak. You broke free, baby. I'm hearing you took your power back. And they didn't like it. They don't like it right now. They're freaking out. They worried. This particular person was operating, I'm hearing. And yes, they're steady spying on you. See, they got these flying monkeys that are going around trying to find this information of you. But this is an immature page. 
You know, they know they made you happy and they see you going, going towards happiness. Look at this. Look, they see you moving towards another relationship. And this could be with the cancer. But see, I'm hearing you just elevating. Your vibration is getting so high, baby. Your control of your emotions are, look, you're in the clouds, baby. Mm -hmm. And look, it's got this past person in heartbreak. They was about to stab you again in the back, but oh, Virgo, you move forward. I'm hearing you listen to the divine, baby. And some of these, some of this, this, look at this synchronicity, one, one, one right there. This person could have been a fire sign is what I'm hearing. And they were just a little devilish. They like to see you hurting. And for some of you guys, this was you. They put you in a three and then they just put you in a, in a world of hurt is what I'm hearing. And you had a lot of love for this person. Some of you guys took that sword out of your back. And you was going to return it back to them and say, hey, did you lose this? But you, man, you, you, you moving forward is what I'm hearing. They see you getting blessed by God, the universe. And they ain't like it. Some of them don't want to take accountability, you know, to what they did to you, to their actions. But Virgo, Virgo. Put it in the comments, baby. I'm hearing you teaching them a lesson by leaving, baby, by moving forward. And this is where they're at right now. This is their energy. I'm hearing they were playing mind games, baby. They didn't know that you was, you could, <laughs> you could mirror that shit back to them. But you didn't do it out of pettiness is what I'm hearing. Put it in the comments, baby. It's like you, I'm hearing this. Y'all have a, <laughs> my spirit said, my spirit team saying that you guys have a fire sign. That's Leo, Sag, or Aries that is whooping them spiritually. They, they might've crossed over. I'm hearing they crossed over already, but you have, it's like God, the universe is allowing this past love one. I'm here at number 55. That's going to mean something. I don't know if they passed away when they were 55. They were born in 55. But they're putting a spiritual whooping on that ass. They seen all the, all the, um, <laughs> all the, all the messed up things. It's like they were collecting karma. It's like spirit. Some, for some of you guys, this particular person wanted to rob your, I'm hearing your inheritance. This could have been a sibling. This could have even been another parent. I'm hearing a, it's just a spouse. And they thought by them tapping into your spiritual inheritance, baby, they, was, they weren't going to get caught. But spirit caught them and they weren't even tripping. They was taking handfuls. What they didn't realize is you were divinely protected. Look at this. Divinely protected. Some of you guys just attracting. I'm hearing this song, man. This song is, and this is for my males or females, baby. The music, music has a lot to do with your vibration. Some of you guys love music. Some of you guys love to dance. And I'm hearing this song and it's, it's uh, from, I'm hearing Taylor Swift, Shake It Off. If you guys are freshly divorced, it's like you broke free, baby. And some of you guys have your significant or past person, lover or ex, that is showing off. They, they might have jumped into a relationship and they're showing off this new partner, but they're unhealed. <laughs> they're about to meet their match. Look, even though that's happening, they're trying to act like they're all bold and strong, but they are missing you. They're missing you. But anyways, that song, Shake It Off, they want you to, my, my spirit team is saying that your ancestors want you to listen to that song. They want you to dance, to understand that song, that you could keep moving forward, baby, no matter how much they slandered you and tried to ruin 
everything you work for. For some of you guys, this particular person hurt you in all areas. They wanted to see you homeless. But even though you was, and some of you guys went through homelessness, but what they couldn't break was your spirit. And spirit is so proud of you that no matter if you didn't, I don't see a home in here, but you have all these toys you were co-creating with spirit. So some of you guys, they're so jealous of how you healed your inner child. Some of you guys even told this partner you were guided by your spirit team to heal your partner, but they, they didn't want to. They chose to focus on something else. Mm, mm, mm. I'm hearing the letters R, F, C, E, G, S, a Y, L, and an N. Last name or first name. I'm hearing there's a cousin. Some of you guys have a cousin or a family member that lives at a state. Dip. <laughs> it was a Judas for you. He came to sabotage. It's like they were so jealous of seeing you in a good relationship. And they did come between. They, they wanted to. And for some of you guys, this person sabotaged your relationship. And when you was going to a new relationship, they wanted to even sabotage that. They, I'm hearing they just were jealous. And they, they might have even teamed up with three different people to celebrate but you stayed in love. You stayed obedient to your, towards your mission. My God. I'm hearing who they're about to receive their karma. God wants you to stay vibrating in a high vibration. Some of you guys are wanting to see what karma the universe is going to give them. Because you know, you learned the universal law of karma. But spirit, my spirit team is claiming spirit wants you to just focus on moving forward. They don't want you to focus on when and where they're going to get their karma. Just trust in the divine. But they will receive it. One of the reasons I'm hearing they're so jealous of you is how strong you are in moving forward. And they don't realize how powerful you are. And it's all due because you're fearless. You have this faith towards God, the universe, your ancestors, your angels, however it may resonate with you, whoever. You. You're about to be blessed in everything you do. I mean, I'm seeing 999. Some of you guys are seeing 999, 1133, 444. Mm -hmm. See, they want me to get another deck. Look, you're about to be celebrating. And I'm hearing that song from Taylor Swift is still in my song. It says, can't stop, won't stop, baby. Put it in the comments. Can't stop, won't stop. It says something like, uh, it's like I got this music in my head. And I'm telling you, you guys, some of you guys love music. Because a player is going to play it. And a hater is going to hate. But baby, you just got to shake. Something like that. Y'all listen to that movie, movie to that song. Because I'm hearing something about, but I got to keep on cruising. Some of you guys are going to drop the top, baby. Or you're going to meet somebody with the drop top. If you haven't already. Look how balanced you are, baby. I'm hearing you stayed obedient to your journey. To whatever situations that might have wanted to trap your mind. You planted good seeds. But most important, look at all these karmic cycles you've been closing. These generational curses, baby. I'm hearing they're realizing that you left for good. Look, you way up here. You elevated so high right now, they can't even reach you. Mm -mm. And you're manifesting, so they, they want you to stay in high vibration, protect your thoughts, baby, because you're manifesting everything you want. I'm hearing effortlessly. 
Everything's going to come to you effortlessly. And they want you to be with your affirmations on your gratitude. I am grateful. I'm here. I am wealth. I'm here. Money comes to me easily and effortlessly. And look at this blessing. And that's because God is blessing you. You've been through a lot. Virgo. Hit the like button. Share. Subscribe, baby. Comment. Claim this energy. Some of you guys were dealing with somebody that took from you. I'm hearing if they if you had a business with this partner, whether it's in love or just a friendship, they took from you. During COVID, I'm hearing they kicked you when you was down, baby. But God seen it all and seen how they plotted. And now, even though they might have took that from you, you had a little bit of time to reflect and allow God. I'm here at Exodus 14, 14, baby. You trusted in God. You, you know the universal law of karma, baby. And look what you're receiving. Because you stood back and you allowed God, the universe, to take care of the situation on this greedy person, this greedy partner. Look, you're about to receive all this treasure. And it's God, the universe, that's going to be blessing you, only you. Because look, this, this is you moving forward with your blessings. And baby, you're in total control and you're about to be moving fast. Baby, it's, it's only you right there. Equal give and take. And it's got somebody in total conflict. Because I'm hearing you finally broke free. And if they put a hex or curse on you, <laughs> for a lot of you guys, you guys are so obedient, baby. For It's going to resonate for a few of you guys. Maybe all of you guys. But you guys are so obedient to God. You trust in your archangels, your, your ancestors, God, the universe. That you, <laughs> you send it to God. Every bad energy they sent towards you, everything they did to hurt you, you send it to God for he to be the judge. And by you doing that and waiting, you waited on God to open the doors for you. All that energy they sent to you, whoo, it returned to sender. But it was God that was returning it. And look, you're moving forward. You're not looking back. It's like you, you might have been in partnership with this person. You allowed them to go their own way. And now you got the world right here, right by you. And I see a lot of traveling. You got a car. You might be getting a new car. But I see you co-creating with the universe. You and the universe, baby. And that past person is all up in their head. They don't even know which way to go. They don't even know where they got their feet. They see you just moving on the floor. I'm telling you, you guys are seeing synchronicities. But you, they see you partying. And they see you. They see you breaking these barriers. Some of you guys wait until the divine God source tells you when to move and how to move. And that causes a tower to people. For some of you guys, you you see the towers. Some of you guys get these towers in your mind. Some of you guys are, are dealing with the Scorpio or you are the, the towers for many people. And you know this because you got the ace of wands. Your intuition, your third eye is on fire. And you just trust in God, the universe, baby. All right, let's see what the universe has a message for you. Remember, God wants you to stay vibrating. This message is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere in this chart, baby. Hit that like button. Share, subscribe, baby. <laughs> Claim this video. Let's see. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. All right, we got one right here. One more shuffle. Let's go. You got one message. It says, your treasure is at hand. And it says, sure, you can always find prettier, handsome, skinnier, wiser, richer, younger, zippier. But more often than that, one learns the most, laughs the loudest, and smiles the wildest. With those, they're already found, especially 
when they stop looking elsewhere. Man, I think who had this Capricorn? You may be dealing with the Capricorn. This card is the one that flew out. That was just at the bottom of the deck. So maybe a Capricorn is looking at how amazing you were. And you finally broke free from this Capricorn. This might have been a neighbor you was close by dealing with. And it says, sometimes the good is hidden. And boy, Capricorn was hidden. So some of you guys are dealing with Capricorn. Y'all need to go check out that reading. It says, find the good in what they said or asked. It's always there, even if they didn't mean for it to be there. Surely, yours, the universe. It says, P.S., clues for what you want are hidden all around you. I'm telling you guys are finding that. You're breaking free. You're finding clarity. All right, one spiritual as fuck message. Let's see. It says, heart is the new balls, baby. And this says, how did testicles get so hyped up as the power center of the world. The heart, my friend, has always been far more powerful than those two delicate dangling things. <laughs> That's what it says. Check in with your heart. Pull your hands over that giant thumping muscle and ask it straight up how it would run your day if it was given the chance. Then give it the chance, baby. Look at this. Some of you guys need to open that heart chakra. Or some of you guys are dealing with somebody that, whoo. I'm hearing some of you guys need to open that heart chakra. You're breaking free of this narcissistic. And maybe this person had you trap all up in your mind, all bitter. But you're, you're finally breaking free, baby. So keep moving forward. Hit the like button. Share, subscribe. Comment, baby. Claim this video. Pull that energy. I'm hearing... I am confident and successful, baby. Keep moving forward. Infinite Tarot, 888.